The service begins with the introit, O Quam Gloriosum, by Vittoria.
Hear the word of God from the Epistle to the Romans, chapter 10, at verse 8. The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things but they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Amen.
again the Word of God from the Gospel according to St. John, the chapter 12 at verse 20. And there were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same came therefore to Philip, which was of Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we would see Jesus. Philip cometh and telleth Andrew, and again Andrew and Philip tell Jesus. And Jesus answered them, saying, The hour is come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a corn of wheat fall unto the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. He that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. If any man serve me, let him follow me, and where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Now is my soul troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this cause came I unto this hour. Father, glorify thy name. Then came there a voice from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. The people therefore that stood by and heard it said that it thundered. Others said, An angel spake to him. Jesus answered and said, This voice came not because of me, but for your sakes. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. May God bless to us these readings from his holy word, and to his name be glory and praise. Amen. I believe 
in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. God, who didst give such grace unto thy holy apostle St. Andrew, that he readily obeyed the calling of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and followed him without delay, 
and who by the preaching of the apostles didst cause the light of thy gospel to shine upon the nations, grant that we, being called by thy holy word, may follow the example of their zeal and service, and give ourselves obediently to fulfill our calling through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thine only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. The anthem, Evening Hymn, by Balfour Gardner.
Let us pray. Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. We thank thee, O God, for apostles and saints of every age who have served thee among men and brought the gospel to a waiting world. We thank thee for the continuing missionary work of the church, for every new evidence of its unity in Christ, and for all it affords to those who love it. Let thy grace rest on those who labor for thee in distant lands. Protect and empower them, reward their labors, and hasten the time when the kingdoms of the world become the kingdom of our Lord and his Christ. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We thank thee for our homes and families, the comforting love of husband or wife, the joy of children, the adventure of living together. Grant that we may not be found wanting in this test of family life. Help us to build up the confidence of those we love. May our homes be places of refuge and understanding and joy through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We thank thee for thy blessing on our nation and community, for all we have inherited because of the vision and toil and courage and sacrifice of our forefathers. Help us to be worthy of the past and fit for the future. Guide our leaders and all whose position or work influences the minds and lives of others. Turn aside the ways of violence in our land. Bring healing to those wounded. Comfort those who mourn their dead. Keep us from bitterness and bring us to a time of real peace and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We remember before thee the needs of the humble and the powerful, the needs of those who weep and those who laugh, the needs of the lonely and the popular, the needs of the sick and the healthy. We commend all such to thy care and love and pray that by thy spirit we may seek to fulfill our prayers by serving wherever we can the needs of our brethren. And with affection we remember before thee our friends and kindred who served thee in life here and are now at rest. Keep us united with them in the communion of thy saints. Enable us to follow them in faithfulness and bring us with them at last to the joy of thy heavenly kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. The hymn is number 211. Jesus calls us o'er the tumult of our life's wild, restless sea. <laughs> 